Hello, welcome to What on Earth is Going On. So the purpose of this is to analyze the news. In fact, I hate, I despise the news. And the only reason I've looked at the news is because it's very important to be able to shift thinking from negative to positive. And the news basically is all bad. I remember being on a plane and this uh, two black men actually, one was a young man and the other was an older and the young man was saying, and it's very, very serious, he was saying how the world is bad. So the guy says, ah, you look at the news. He says, I look at all the news. News from China, it's always good. So the point is that for whatever reason, there's this very strong tendency in the West to always be negative. And that negativity affects us deeply. And two weeks before the election, the 2016 election, I got so sick and tired of the circus. I said, that's it, no more news. And miraculously, I shouldn't say miraculously, it will happen to you as well. It's the best thing I ever did. Because the world is a great place. Michael Medved, a radio uh, talk show host and very bright man, said that, Polls show that if you ask people how's life, they'll say life is terrible. They say, how is your life? They'll say life is pretty good. So how can life be terrible and pretty good? Because the perception of the media is that it's terrible. But based on all objective standards, it's never been remotely as good in human history and will always continue to get better. So let's analyze what's right and what's wrong. And most importantly, it's not to turn a blind eye and just pretend everything's good, but what would be the correct solution? So let's first of all start with what's right. So the fact that there's a G7 meeting is a great thing. The fact that countries are getting together to discuss problems, to work on problems, that is right. The concept of the UN, countries getting together to discuss things, to talk, is very good. There were times that countries didn't do that. They maybe uh, sent a messenger. I mean, it's very onerous, very difficult. The very fact that you can get together in one room and talk, you can get so much done. Certainly, if you don't talk, you're just going to go into a negative spiral. So talking is a very good thing. Um, what else is good is obviously, thank God, our economy is doing very well. Unfortunately, places in the world that it's not doing well. I mean, obviously, Venezuela is a disaster. Uh, we have freedom. That's a good thing. The very fact that you can criticize or support your president, that's a big thing. Most, most many countries today, but certainly for most of human history, you didn't have that. And um, so we have a lot to be grateful for. A lot of people died you to have the freedom for me to be able to say what I'm saying right now without any fear. Now, in terms of what's bad, um, we mentioned this yesterday, but obviously the trade war with China is worrisome. Um, and the solution to that, as we mentioned yesterday, is that countries have to get together and have mediation. All the court systems, I mean, everybody I spoke to a judge Asked him about mediation. He said, of course mediation is better. In other words, whenever you have a situation of win and lose, so our egos are very reluctant to lose. Even in terms of imposing sanctions, I saw a study that sanctions don't work. If you have a carrot and a stick and you play it right, then it can work. But just imposing sanctions, so the other guy says, okay, I'm going to impose sanctions on you. So it's like only normal for China. I'm not. The truth is I don't really know the situation. I don't know the motive of the Trump administration. It seems like there is some serious issues with the way China um, acts, but I don't know. Um, so I can't comment on what I don't know. But what I do know is that the idea of I'm going to put this tax on you. So what does the other guy do? I'm going to put a tax on you. But if you could create a situation of mediation particularly if that mediation was public and even if it wasn't binding, which is the whole thing of mediation, but if nobody wants to look bad in the public, boom, you would probably solve it 
Um, I studied divorce mediation, and they told us that really an amazing statistic. So 50% of cases can be mediated, but of those 50%, the maximum amount of time is six times. These are cases that often drag out in court for years. So six times you have mediation. So um, in terms of things that we could be solving, um, that's, I don't want to belabor too much, um, but this is a very simple um, problem with a very simple solution. Most solutions are simple and um, could be applied to the war in Ukraine. Um, it could be applied pretty much to all skirmishes. India and Pakistan, you know, once you get into that kind of ego war, so it ceases to become rational. So for what it's worth, I encourage that all sane people who wish to be remembered, because history doesn't remember your ego, but it does remember your accomplishments.